Hey, what's up guys and girls? Uh, today we got a tutorial about uh, the Photoshop shortcuts. Uh, I'm going to just go over the mostly used ones. Um, the ones that are gonna, you're going to use a lot. It helps speed you up in the process. Um, first part, we're just going to go over the basics. And um, as you can see, we've got the fancy little picture-in-picture -picture going on with my keyboard. Uh, so I can just show you... Uh, I'm right-handed, so my, my keyboard is all left on my left hand. Or my left hand is on the keyboard. You know, whichever. If you want to do it upside down, just put your keyboard on top of your hand. You can do that too. Um, so yeah, first of all, most used tool for me is going to be the lasso tool, so L. So, you know, you just draw your selections and stuff like that. Um, next up is going to be uh, the W, which is your wand. Uh, when you have your flats, you know, to help you uh, select different portions of your piece. Uh, next up, uh, the brush. And, uh, you know, I have like all my presets here. Um, uh, sorry, presets here and all the, uh, uh, my preferred brushes I'll save out, you know, specific settings, stuff like that will be there. So B for brush, uh, M for marquee tool. If you need to select the panels, you know, when you're doing your flats or whatever, uh, it's easy to do that. Um, let's see, next up would be your eyedropper, which is your eye button. And just help you uh, pick out colors. So you can see right here, I got this uh, magenta color. Uh, put it up here, I got this green, really fast and easy. Um, next would be the gradient tool. So if I have a selection, just hit G, and whatever color I have in my foreground, that'll pick it. So here we go with that. Start a new layer. And there we go. And then we have the hand tool, which of course helps us move everything around. Um, uh, let's see, X will be to toggle between our foreground and our background colors. And um, let's see, if we go otherwise with our B brush, if we hit with our shift key, we hit B again, that'll go to our pencil tool. We can also go uh, to our mixer tool. And I think the other one's a replacement color. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty basic stuff. Uh, with the marquee tool, if we hold shift and hit M again, it'll give us an oval. So if we hit shift again, it's a square, rectangle, hit shift again, circle. So pretty basic stuff. Um, we do the same thing with our gradient tool. If we get that, um, this, right now it's on uh, our gradient tool right here. If we hit shift G, it's our fill bucket, so it's great for uh, for flats. Right now it's at 50%. Uh, we'll just put that up to 100. So yeah, we just fill that part in easily enough. Um, see, space bar, we use a lot. Um, no matter, say, if I'm on my lasso tool, it hits space bar, automatically it turns into our hand tool. We're on our, uh, our brush, space bar, hand tool. Marquee tool, nope, we got our hand tool again just by hitting space. Uh, really quick and easy. Uh, say if we have a bunch of selections all over the place, we need to get down here as well. We're zoomed in here doing our uh, our fancy airbrushing. We could be up here, and then we, the next thing you know, we're down here. Fast and easy. We'll increase that, and there we are right here. We're down here. Look, now we're over here. So it's really quick, a uh, really quick way to get around your uh, to get around your uh, canvas. Um, let's see. Next up, I wanted to talk about uh, if we have our brush tool, uh, use the bracket keys. They're the ones uh, located right next to the uh, next to the P. And maybe get that. So the one on the uh, on the I guess this would be called the closed bracket. You hit that one, it increases our brush size. The one right next to the P would be the open opening bracket. And that one there uh, shrinks it down. So it works fast and easy. Also works for on E, our eraser tool. Same thing. So we can go like that, or we can go smaller. Really fast and easy instead of having to go back over here and, and fix it on your sliders. Let's see if we got that. Um, I'm working. Uh, in CS6, and uh, I think it was in CS5, or maybe it was 5.5, they introduced uh, 
they finally introduced the uh, rotate canvas, which is the uh, which is the R key. So I get this sweet little uh, function. I could just uh, move it around here. The middle part is always going to be our axis. So if I grab it down here, it's just going to rotate it one way and run rotate it the other. So instead of having to you know just work you know uh, horizontal or vertical, flipping it one way or the other. Now we can work in in betweens, which is really great, really nice. Uh, you want to get like nice long lines and everything. Uh, and to go back, we'll just hit our uh, up at the top in the menu. We just hit the reset view, and that'll take it back. So R right here, and just reset view. We're back to where we started from. Um, let's talk about zooming in and out of the piece. Uh, it's our Z is going to be our zoom. Um, I'm not sure when, I think it might have been CS6 where it has like the zoom in, zoom out. And it's this is, a, I think, called the scrub, where it's always going to be a plus on it. And if I scroll uh, to the left, it's going to zoom out. If I go to the right, it's going to zoom in. So it's pretty, uh, pretty handy, fast way to do it. Um, if you're working an earlier version, uh, let's see if you hold Alt or Option key and click on it. That'll zoom you. That'll zoom you out, and then you don't have to push anything. It'll zoom you right in on the piece. Um, let's see. Uh, that's another one on the brush tool. Uh, if you hold Alt or Option, and uh, that's automatically always going to give you your eye picker. So um, I'm at my brush. So let's make a selection real quick. Um, I'm on my brush, and I have, let's say this this maroon color. I'm, I'm coloring, I'm coloring, I'm coloring. I need this color here. Bam! Just hit Alter Option. It gives me that color. Let's get a little bit of this green in here. And it's a really fast way to go around your canvas and just picking up colors real quick once you already have most of them down. Um, let's see, and then with the uh, last one, I want to color or I want to cover for this part is the marquee tool. We'll go back to that. Um, so we'll have we'll have our selection. Let's say we want to add to it. We'll just hit, hit the shift key and now we can add all these little you know all these other ones to it. And let's see if we want to uh, subtract from it. We'll hold our alter option key and that'll uh, take all those away again. So again, very helpful uh, if you're when you're laying down your flats at first, breaking up your panels. You know, um, I usually fill in so like the, the full the full page, and then I'll select you know I'll, I'll deselect panel one, holding down that option key, and then I'll you know darken the rest, and then okay, let's go ahead and deselect panel two. I go back, you know, so on and so forth. And it's pretty pretty simple, fast, easy way to do it. And um, yeah, that's about uh, for the basics. That about covers it. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, carry on to the next portion. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that layer we opened up. Um, uh, this piece here, by the way, is done by Ken Hunt. And uh, just like all the other artists I'll use on my channel, I'll put their uh, link to their DeviantArt. In, uh, in the description so you can check out more of his awesome stuff. Um, okay, so we covered the basics. Now we're going to use those basics and build on them a little bit more. Um, as you can probably tell by my keyboard, I work on a Mac. Um, I know a lot of people use PC, so I'm trying to remember the shortcuts for those as well. Uh, a lot of the stuff we're going to use is going to be about uh, the control key, or I guess the command key on the uh, on the Mac, control on, on the on the PC. Um, let's see, let's open up a new layer. Um, so I guess first of all, we'll start off with some of the uh, some of the adjustments that we that I use a lot. And um, first one is going to be uh, hue saturation. It's going to be command or control on a PC and the U button. Why does it tell me I can't? Uh, let, me, let me add something to this layer first. Hold on. Duh. There we go. All right, now. So we have uh, our hue saturation, 
and desaturate it, saturate it, change the hue of it, lighten, darken it, whatever. Um, oh, one thing we can do, okay, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and change that a little bit or a lot so we see a difference. Um, now we can undo that uh, command or control Z, but then if we hold uh, command, alt, or option, um, control, alt, on the, on the PC, we hold those two down and then hit uh, the U, that'll bring up our last used settings. So it helps out a lot if you're having to make adjustments on a, a couple pages. Um, you know, so say so and so's hair is supposed to be a different color than what you colored it. You could just go ahead and do a hue saturation on on one page. You know, fix it. Oh, let's do it like a you know dark brown instead of like the blonde or whatever. And now next time you come to it on, on the next page, just hit those two uh, command or control alt, and then hit U, and it'll do it all automatically for you. That's all you have to do is hit OK. I usually just hit the Enter key. Um, a little bit faster instead of trying to find it. Um, so we got that. Uh, next up is going to be same thing, uh, command or control B. It's going to be our color balance. And you know you can just tweak your colors. Um, the, usually it's set to midtones, but let's say we have a, 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 a gradient going on. Oops. Oh, there you go. Why is that set to multiply? Hold on a second. So if we have like a light and a dark to it, we can hit our uh, color balance. We could change the shadows. Let's add more magenta and red just to the shadows and say like our highlights, we can adjust on its own. We can add more yellow, you know, or more green. So there's a lot of different ways instead of just tweaking just the midtones. You can really get in there and really fuss with the colors. And uh, the same settings work for that as well. Let's say if we want to just quickly change that and undo it. Uh, just hold just by holding down that Alt key again, it'll remember those last few settings. It's very helpful. Uh, next one is Command or Control L for our levels. Uh, on the on the right hand side, that's our highlights. On the on the left hand side, that's the shadows. And then we got our middle point here as well. And uh, it's the same thing, uh, just holding down Alt saves you a lot of time and uh, it'll recall those last few settings. And then uh, next one is uh, Command or Control M and uh, it's our middle point for highlight for adjusting highlights. Uh, there's our highlights here, there's our shadows here. You can play all kinds of different ways. And same thing, holding down Alt will uh, uh, recall your last few settings. Let me throw away this layer and see for command or control N opens up a, a new document but if you hold down shift along with that oops let me get rid of that one there we go uh, hold down uh, command or control for PCs shift then N opens up a new layer and uh, so I'll just go ahead and add that back in let's see what else the uh, oh yeah for filters uh, let me get something going in here so we can throw a filter on it. Uh, just throw a basic. Uh, so you just throw a color half tone so you can see. Uh, so you can see that obviously. Um, now since we did our filter, if we undo it, but if we hold Command or Control F, that'll use that'll be like our. Uh, It'll bring up our last filter that we ran. It'll do it again. So that's pretty helpful. If you hold down your command or control shift after you run that filter, so I got those two hold down and then hit F. It'll bring up your fade option. So what you can just fade that back to whatever percent you want so your original uh, will show through, which is pretty handy on some stuff. And that'll also work. Um, say like if I want to fill this with uh, a blue, oops, just that part, fill that with blue and then I hold down those two keys along with the F, the fade, that should work, I don't understand why it's not, hmm, I don't know, I think I messed something up. 
but usually that works as well, holding down the um, the command shift. Uh, that'll, that'll fade that out as well. Um, oh yes, probably the most important one that you'll use is your uh, commander control S. That'll that'll uh, that's that you uh, save it if you hold down uh, your shift key along with uh, and then hit S. That'll bring up your uh, your save as, or if you want to save it as a version two or whatever, you can do that at that point. But yeah, always save. You never know what's going to happen. Um, probably the second most uh, important shortcut is going to be your uh, command or control Z, and that'll be your your undo. And if you just hold down the command or control and hit Z, that'll just do it uh, once. And then if you hit it again, it'll redo it. But if you hold down uh, your alt key as well. I got that. I'm not flipping you guys off, I promise. And then hold Z. That'll undo multiple times. And uh, let me see. So yeah, you can see here in my history, it's just going right up on there. All the way up to the top. So now it's back at the bottom again. So you can see how that's done. Um, what I always do... Uh, so I like having my palettes like close by. I always put them, even though I have multiple monitors, I'll have I'll just have them still on my screen. And how I hide those, just hit your tab key, make them disappear. So it's pretty handy to do. Um, and let's see if I'm zoomed out. Easy way to get back to uh, full screen is hit Command or Control Zero right here. I'll just bring a regular uh, full screen size for you so you can check it out. Uh, fast and easy way to uh, to zoom out on that. Um, let's see, what else do we have? So let's do unlock that layer. We'll have another up here. Let's see, uh, I want to fill it with uh, yellow. Uh, if we hold down uh, Command or Control, hit Delete. I think on a PC it's Backspace. That'll fill it. Oops, with our uh, our background color. It's going to be this color back here. And then, let's see. Oops, there you go. And then if we hold down Alt or Option, that'll give us our foreground color right here. Um, let's see what else we got. Get that one done. Done. Oh, let's see if we bring up a... Uh, Let's bring up a dialog box and we hit like save as. So we have save, we can hit enter and that'll save it. Say if we want to cancel, fast and easy way to do it is a command or control period right there. And that'll uh, that'll turn off, that'll, hit, that'll select the cancel option. So you don't have to come all the way over here and, uh, and hit cancel on it. Uh, and see if I have a, a selection, fast and easy way is just command or control D. That'll deselect, and surprisingly, I get this one a lot too. A lot of people asking, "How do I make how do I make my selection disappear?" And then uh, airbrush. That's simple. Uh, just hiding the selection, Command or Control H. So I just hit that, and my selection's still there. You know, you don't have uh, what they call like the marching ants, like getting in your way. You know, uh, messing up your view. So yeah, I just always hide my selection, and then do it. And um, I think that's going to cover uh, this part. And uh, I think next up, uh, we'll talk about the uh, intricacies of the lasso tool. All right, let's start uh, the last part. It might be a little, little bit uh, intense, which is why I wanted to have the picture-in-picture uh, -picture showing the keyboard uh, as a lasso tool. And that could get a little tricky um, with everything that it does. Uh, for the most part, I mean, well, not for the most part. I just use like the regular lasso tool. If you click and hold on it, you see lasso tool, polygonal or magnetic lasso tool. I only use the lasso tool, but I'm able to also, at that same time, use a polygonal. And um, I'll try and show that to you as best as I can. Um, even though it's always the lasso tool. Um, let's see. Let's get in here a little bit on the, the cape of spawn here. So right here, I could just draw, you know, I'm not having to uh, worry about, you know, making uh, 
uh, awkward looking selections. Let's switch it. Now I'm on my polygonal. So now I could I click once and I, I could drag this anywhere. Okay, now that's an anchor point. Now that's an anchor point. Now that's an anchor point. So I just have to click and you know you can't make you know nice curves or anything like that. And so if you want to meet these two together, I can't remember how you do it. I think you hold yeah the command or option or uh, sorry control or command key to let go. To me that's just too awkward to do. It takes too long. Uh, where here I can draw you know my selections quick and easy. Makes the pieces look a lot more fluid. Uh, but if I do want that uh, uh, the polygonal uh, lasso tool for tricky parts, I can just hold. Uh, uh, let's see if I hold down. If I can even remember what it is. Yeah, if I hold down my Alter Option key, that gives me that. And then if I let that go, automatically snaps. But I can also, while well, even while I'm holding the Alter Option key. I could still do my leaf selections really fast and really easy, and it's just a matter of just letting go, and it snaps uh, to makes the two ends meet together. So I can go like that, or you know, hold down my option, and I could get you know really intricate parts. If I want to come across a square part and I need to do a selection like that, that's fast and easy. You know, just holding down. So just like our marquee tool, uh, if I have a selection, I hold down my shift key. I can add to that selection. And if I want to subtract, I'll hold down the Alt, and that'll subtract from it. Now, the part, let's see if I can explain it. So if I have my selection, and then I want to subtract from it, but then I want to also be able to use the, poly the polygonal as I'm subtracting, I'll hold down my Shift, and now I have it. So you still see the minus on the lasso, and I can pick up and come across everywhere. And now if I want to add to it, I'll hold down Shift first, so you see the plus, and then I can hold, push the Alt key, and I can pick it up. And again, just letting go, and we'll snap everything together. So it's really tricky. Uh, let me see if I could show you, you know, how I would uh, do his teeth. You know, just holding down shift, I can select his teeth really fast and really easy. Let's say, oh, I messed that up. I can just hold down my Alt key, you know, uh, select, deselect that. Um, you know, so I think that. Hopefully that uh, um, explains it clearly. I, mean, I, hope, oh, I hope the keys helped out. Um, I think that was about it that I had to show you. If you have any other questions or any tips for the other watchers, other shortcuts that you might use, um, yeah, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, I'm always looking for ways to uh, help speed up my process, and I, I think it's a great thing, uh, community that the colors have. You know, everybody wants to help teach each other. Um, so yeah, leave comments if you have any suggestions or any uh, uh, shortcuts that you use that other people might find uh, helpful. And uh, as always, if you like the the videos that I do, uh, please you know by all means uh, drop a like. Uh, you know, help spread the word. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. Um, you can find uh, more of my work at my DeviantArt account, uh, lemage.deviantart.com. And uh, I think that about do it, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon. All right, thanks. Bye.